let's take a look at the inside of the machine itself right now if you can see it, rtx is lighting up right now really quiet machine we're going to put a little sound meter in here so you guys can see it uh, we can customize the light in here customize the light on the top not like before it used to be red and it was you had to keep it red now it's everything's customized through the application including the front of it I uh, like that that's a plus and then the fan itself we can include it and this is glass this is glass so I like it. it has a big old gap in here that you could probably even replace it with a water um, fill uh, cooling system and if you notice here's the actual hard drive that we have we're going to talk about it a little bit more in details but overall the system's really super quiet we're going to do some more testing so you guys can see more of it and what you can upgrade on this system so stick around do a black and white heat test first to see where all the heat is at in the heat if you can see it everything's running from the GPU it's almost a hundred and thirty right here in the GPU I'll pull myself a little bit back so you guys can see most of the heat where it's um, anticipated uh, we see some of it here 80 90 but this is the redness is where actually uh, is really caught and if you can see I'm gonna put my hand in there and you can see my hand compared to it it's it's super hot so those are the hot spots that we see there on the gpu only the cpu i'm sorry only the cpu and we're going to go ahead and change the thermal color so you guys can see more all right we're going to see where all the heat is actually located uh if you can see some of it, it's up here on this location right about where the hard drive is at and it's it's pretty hot there but it's more hot concentrated on here in this area uh like i said 130 we got 140 and it's all within the cpu area the gpu is actually keeping cool but under pressure this gp gpu is going to get a little hot too so right now we're not doing any benchmarks or anything like that we're not overperforming but we see a hundred uh i'm gonna pull a little bit back a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more and uh, as you can see the performance of it it's the hard drive on the corner and then the cpu and then we got some of it but that's more of the led lights on the top of it uh more concentrated right in the center so there's plenty of fans one on the top one on the side but it's still it's a water cooling system uh you can see that it's generating a lot of heat within the water so not bad not bad all right we're gonna take a look at the software because this is amazing stuff i like and i'm gonna show you a couple things yes to all done we're starting the system itself right now if you can notice we're gonna go in there because you just customize the actual front of the desktop and that's where we're gonna see a lot of performance too uh right now we're looking at the temperature controls and pretty much we go overclock here this is the settings where we go overclock a lot of stuff that's built in the actual application now it actually does a lot of performance for you automatically but if overclocking i wouldn't recommend you unless you're familiar with it but it has those options in here uh net booster of course if you want to make sure you evaluate what's what's being uh, what's transferring rate from your screen if anything's running in the background if you're doing bitcoin you're going to see it right here a lot of it and who's um, the number one right now if you can see some of the traffic um gets spotted from here in case you have a virus too this is a great way to to um find out more about it so let's go to the lighting settings if you can see the lighting on this mark so i'm going to change the color here and it changes right in the front if i apply it and this is an awesome feature it's like you could customize it to different colors now i'm going to choose the number three here and i'm also going to change it to blue too just so i can apply it and i'm going to show you guys in a bit right now too when i'm changing the colors all right we're going to change the colors like right now i came with blue i'm going to click on this color and i'm going to actually change it to white change and if you guys see it, it apply the top i'm also going to change the bottom one too uh to white too 
and you can notice this oh this is an awesome feature this is something i really enjoy in the machine itself um you could choose various colors i mean you don't have to choose what what comes in it because it's an rgb lighting cable and rgb lighting fans and then the centerpiece if you just click on number one we're going to change it to red too and apply it very simple it turns the whole system so right now we're going to change the actually inside the color too we can do that that's one thing let me move the camera over so you guys can see a little bit more all right so we're going to go ahead and change the color here we choose number two here and we're going to change it red too and just to change it here and if you can see the light changes automatically on the top awesome feature on it um, we're going to change the center piece the center the actual center into red too apply it and look at that beautiful and then on top of that we could even change the the actual performance of the memory but that's you're going to have to download the application or you have to set them up through bios to control the rgb lighting some other boards don't let you do it some do and unfortunately this one does not come with that so i can't change it so we're going to go ahead and change it in white back to white apply white apply and then of course we're going to change the front ones and apply white apply and white apply that's pretty much the whole thing awesome features uh animation you can do customs animation you can cycle to different animations i'm gonna do breathing in here apply and if you can notice look at that the breathing on it on the actual memory let's see if we could change it to volcano or some other color let me see apply i'm trying to change it to blinking if you can notice the memory this is the actual memory animating right now um so i'm animating the front of the me the memory and the actual front of the cover so um let's change it back to something else audio pulse and this is goes with any kind of audio right now if you can see it it's changing color here too i'm going to change it to breathing system the telling you see apply there it goes and then we're going to go back to breathing apply I'm going to change the color back white and then we can say off too so let's go back to static change it to white we'll put um breathing customize we just do color change it back to white but it's breathing right now we could change it to not breathing um system temperature it's at 48 so you could customize this in case you ever want to know how hot the certain things are inside you could change them gpu you change the gpu color to to anything you want to so it could give you the temperature controls gpu temperature 39 cpu utilize and we're going to go into that's pretty much it guys um a lot of things you can do fan control you can, right now it's at 48 um we don't need it to be any higher um gpu is actually uh the, it's actually 39 so around 40. um you could go quiet mode but right now we're going to keep it mode and like i said normal if you want to overclock it you can modify these things you can't do that so right now before you do that you have to go actually into the settings here and it gives you a little demonstration which you can do you can put a default intelligence or customize but we're not gonna mess with this this is something that you know the customer should it should um find out later online when he's running a little slow he wants to play some different games you can overclock this so not that bad all right let's go ahead and do the let's go into the benchmark itself if you can see it for gaming 210 desktop performance 106 percent uh, workstation 225 this is really good now let's go ahead and see the specs some of the specs if you guys see it free memory 27.3 of course and 32 gigs uh maximum display right now because of our display is 10 and 19 uh, 1920 by 1080 but this could go 4k because of the video card just depending on your display we're going to go down to performance and watch this look at this so we have an intel core 1050 and price if you guys know i don't know exactly how much it costs 380 in the average market 
Um, it's really good compared to other systems. It's not a poor. We're actually good in the green part here. I'm going to continue down the line. And of course, the graphic card. Uh, this is not a, the, all hands down, this is a 3080. So it's still a really high performance machine, high card, outstanding if you guys can see it, 208. So this alone, it's worth a lot of money. They, they don't even have a price in this right now because you can still find in the market for over $2,000. Now we're gonna go down to the SSD drive, the one terabyte. And if you can see the benchmark, the performance is really outstanding too. We have a 297% and we have it on the green. It net, not, not even near any of the redness or any of the yellow. So we're good on transferring rate because we do have a, um, a WDC, which is Western Digital Black Edition, one terabyte. And the transfer rate is pretty high. Now the other one, two terabytes, we do have a Toshiba. These tend to break down quickly, and uh, I had problems with a lot in the past with Toshiba, but it's still outstanding. We're talking about 72 RPMs per second. This is a mechanical drive. It's a SATA mechanical drive. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. This Kingston memory is is a benchmark 105, 101, and average is really good. So it's above 100. We're looking at. So we have two of these to make 32, 16 to make 32. Um, let's see the system uh, memory legacy ladder. So pretty much good performance until it starts hitting the top, if you guys can see it. But let's continue. Now, gaming wise, you can play any of these games listed here. Um, we could have Cyberpunk, this could handle Cyberpunk, Warzone, all the, all the latest games that are out there right now, this can handle all these games, really high performance, especially if you're going to do a lot of streaming, you can do both at the same time and play. So far, so good. And if you guys like what you guys see, make sure you guys subscribe. <laughs>